G'day and welcome back, Faintly Saintly here, and today we're looking at the demo for Hex Guardian, which is described as a roguelike tower defense, and as you can probably see from this uh, title screen here, it's uh, got a, quite a maze of paths and rivers, and, and how that works is essentially you build the course out of little building blocks, so uh, I don't think I'll do the challenges, I don't think I'll just start on the easy grassland. So basically, pretty standard rules of tower defense apply. You can see here on the right, you've got swordsmen coming from this path. Uh, but also down here, you've got your towers. And here, you can build tiles in between rounds, as long as you have these uh, tile resources. So, oh, and they're not waiting for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and get a tower down. So, you know, you can spend money, you can upgrade your towers, all the usual fare. Hopefully one tower is enough to keep up with this. Okay, and immediately we get day two, choose a new card. So we can unlock an archery range, cannon tower, or ice tower, all pretty standard. Actually, the archery range is a little bit unique in that you place it and you can control some archers that come out of it. I just need to remember how. Ah, flag, there we go. Rally points. I'll rally them up here. And they'll wander off and guard that path as well. I do have another tile. So what it could do is place... Oh no, I can't place it there. Because this tile has water. So what will I do? Will I bother? Yeah, I'll just put it there. Uh, I have another tile. Okay, that could be good. That'll uh, really extend that top path. And if you uh, connect a path with these tiles, you can actually block them off and, and stop them from being a spawn point. That's potentially good, but if I do it here, I might be able to actually close that path off completely. So let's see. Uh, I've got 60... Oh, Spearmen. More fragile than Swordsmen, but they have a higher attack. Right, so we've got Spearmen coming in. But if they're more fragile, I'm not too concerned. Our tower is mopping them up. You have some tiles. Can I place them already? I can. There we go. Look at that. I've closed that path. Which means we should no longer get invaded by water units in those rivers, which is nice. Archer attack speed plus 20%. Cannon tower. Ice tower again. I think I'll upgrade the archers. I don't mind the idea of having... They're just like towers you can relocate in between rounds. I can actually upgrade that. Get an extra archer for that one. Where are they coming from? The right. Well, maybe that was bad because now I can't build another tower. But I guess I'll have four archers. And I'll have them all here. Can I go there? Here. Get on that side and defend me. All right. Day three is starting. Can these guys get it done? Looks like they should be able to, which is nice. Very good. Another wave down. I have seven tiles. That's interesting. Do I close that off and just make one path? Well, two paths, really. Can I rotate that? No. Could just pop it there, I suppose. Extend the waterway. Maybe look to uh, cut this one off as well. All right. Chance of critical hits from archers increased by 40%, or Arrow Tower's chance to toxify the ground. That's interesting. Don't hate that, actually. Got more people come from this side, so I'm going to stick a tower there. And now I need three tiles to build a new, new block of land, okay. Oh, I've got boats coming in. What path are they taking?
We may not be able to stop those reliably, unless they come this way and the archers can get them. But I won't know until they get here, I guess. Let's speed that up. I'll get ready to move these if need be. Oh, yep. Need be. Over here. Beautiful. Attack speed increased by 20% for arrow towers. I'll take that. Probably should be diversifying a bit more, but I don't mind upgrading just what I've got. So I'll upgrade both these arrow towers. Okay, and then let's see what we've got here. Increase the length of that path. Can I block this one off? Why not? No, that's not the right shape. Maybe I'll block that one off. Another time. Not enough. Okay. Oops, I wasn't paying attention. But we should be okay. Ah, oh, yeah. So here's the toxified ground, which is doing some good work for us. These boats are reaching my castle, though. Upgrade the arrow towers again, I think. Very nice. So maybe I need to put something up here just to control the boats. A bit better. Another archery range probably wouldn't hurt. Um, what's a better place to put that? I think I'd prefer to keep it close by. Okay, now can I close any of these paths off? No, that opens more. Yeah, I'd rather I might just put that up there, get it out of the way. Um, there we go, that path's closed. Lovely. So, that greatly limits how I can be attacked from different angles. Okay, this is excellent. Oh, they're still making it through, though. Which is a shame. Um, chance of critical hit. Slows down enemies. Um, I'll, I'll grab the Ice Tower. Just to uh, change it up a little bit. Enemies hit by Ice Elements get frozen, reducing movement and attack speed. Okay. I wish I could build. Uh it's not really that effective there, is it? Better than nothing, I guess. Probably could have spent that money better elsewhere, but hey. Increase the capacity of those arches. So no one's really coming this way, are they? So I can now put these arches maybe over this side. Actually, can they reach up here? That's probably not a bad idea. And what have we got? Ah, there we go cancelled that out. No boats are coming through here now. I've literally got one way in. Just wish these ice towers could uh, reach them. Anyway, that's fine. I'm trying to get the guy off the road so he doesn't get hurt. No, off, off the road would be great, buddy. There we go. Uh, extra damage to armor or area of effect damage I'll unlock it it'll be good to have now what tiles can I place I suppose I shouldn't expect to be able to block this path off yet right maybe I just need to expand it Here we go. That's quite the path around now, so... Now things like this ice tower will be much more effective. We'll get a cannon tower in there as well. And... Why not have an archery range? Is this block? It's just a... 
chunk of grass. Okay. There we go. You can block that path. So now we're down to two entrances. And you can rally. Can you go to the middle there? There we go. So where are they coming from? What happened? There was no enemies. <laughs> so right, or did something happen there? I don't know. Anyway, here we are. Um, increase the capacity to three there. Need a hundred to upgrade that or a hundred to upgrade that. Enrage level two. Enemy HP and armor plus forty percent attack plus eight. Oh, I think that's what happens when I block paths that enemies coming in. Like when the boats are coming in here, I cut off that path. They increase the rage, which makes the next enemies harder. So that'll be interesting. It's a little bit concerning. Let's upgrade that so you can hit more at once. Hopefully they can control the numbers, but uh, it's a bit scary. Uh, Ice Tower. Increased damage. Armor, maybe. Actually, I like the range of cannon towers, to be honest. Bit of extra support there. Wouldn't go astray. There we go. Kept them away. So we've got a big raid this turn. I'm going to upgrade this one. Increase his radius. Might do that twice. Okay, what can we do here? Possibly cut off this path again. Let's see. Skip to the day. Axemen are fragile, but they appear in groups. Towers of the area of effect attacks are highly effective against them. All right. Lucky we've got a couple of those then. No, oh, don't focus on him. Focus on the groups. So you can't seem to change their targets, which is a shame, because that was a huge amount of wasted damage there, chasing the the horsemen and not the groups, which is not what we want. So we might actually be stuffed now. Looks like it. But survived nine days, new record, earned 130 trophies, uh, which does what for me? Not sure. Anyway, I think that was a pretty good map. I liked that we could just cut all these off and there was just one path. It was just a shame that, um, yeah, it didn't probably have the best setup for it. All right, so now what? Talents. Okay, you get an extra padlock for each tal eight talents unlocked. Okay, finish games to get trophies. Use trophies to unlock talents. Right, okay. So there's like a huge skill tree. And I think the first time I tried this, I might have put some points in here without actually knowing what was going on. Um, generates stars over time. Got no idea what they are. Increases the attack of towers beside water. So, archery range... Okay, castle HP plus 10, towers attack range plus 20, barracks alert range, houses produce 20% faster, what are houses? Castle 30 gold per day, that seems helpful, spearman barracks, fishing hut, provides fish to nearby houses, so what you're actually building villages as you go are you? Swordsman barracks. Plenty of choices. Hydromancers, poison service. Okay, so looks like this is um quite in depth. There's wonders, observatory, like all sorts of buildings. Looks like there's some village building and population management at the same time, which is a bit crazy. Not what I expected. Uh, let's unlock the fire tower. See what that does. Can't afford that one. Castle plus 30, okay. So I've unlocked two currency generators there. 
So every day I'll get an extra 60 gold, which will certainly help. So if I go back in there now, we'll see if we can do a bit better. So 10 swordsmen coming from that side. Let's just pop a little tower down there. Let's go with it. Fire tower. Let's go for it. Does that cost 120? No, oh, I don't like this. Enemies hit by fire elements get burning, losing HP when receiving damage. Okay. Generally how it works, isn't it? Don't mind that, actually. Critical hit damage increased by 70 or cannon tower. I'll, I'll knock cannons just to have an option. Um, can I... Oh, I don't like that. It splits into three, but anyway. Let's do that. And again, I'm just realizing that I've neglected the water. Anything coming in here, I just can't, I can't defend. I'll have to put something up here, just in case. There we go. Can we reach them? Yes. Oh, upgrade bounces between enemies. That would be cool. Rapid fire fire towers, yes please. Damn one snuck through. We have a boat coming now. Increase that. What have we got here? Could try and close that path off at least. Um should I invest in more fire there? I think I kind of have to, don't I? Ah, oh, I didn't realize there was two lots coming in. My mistake. So they got armor. What's that bar? Looks like it. Well, I, I'm enjoying these fire towers, I've got to say. Um, I'll lock the ice tower, I suppose. A bit of money, they're all coming this way, so I'm going to upgrade that one. See what I can do here. Potentially close off a path, hopefully. Close off that path. Hmm. It's not closed, but it's split at least. Maybe I need to do this. Is that a... What is that? A tunnel. What does the tunnel do? Not quite sure. Guess we will find out in just a moment. So can this reach those boats? If not, I'm in trouble. Okay, cool. Okay, bouncy fireballs is nice. Hopefully we can hold out there. Um, oof. Doesn't help me immediately, does it? That's okay. Survived. Boat's coming in from this way. We should hopefully be okay. And lots coming in from this side. What tiles can I unlock here? Could hopefully loop that around and maybe block that path off. Tunnel again. I'm not sure what that does. Does that block it? It does. Okay, so it's like a dead end. Just need to focus on these boats now. So I'll upgrade that. Can I put anything else down here? Can. Alrighty, they should hopefully hold that. 
So still, still a few too many ways to get in, which I'm not comfortable with. I would like to be able to close some of these off. Cannon tower. I guess I'll get that just in case. Let's put that down to one path. How's that? Water. All right. We'll go with that. So we've got two fire towers defending that water lane. And an ice and a fire down here. Hopefully we'll get the job done. Can I put that somewhere? No way really useful. I mean, that might help, but... That's probably my one complaint, and it's probably by design that you don't want things to be too easy by being able to place things wherever you want, but... I'd like to be able to place this maybe up here so it can hit the water and the ground, but it's probably just a balance choice. Uh, we'll put ice there, maybe just to slow those down. How are we looking? Okay, so far so good. What else can I do? Don't really want to split that path off again. Very much rather close it. Ice tower, rapid fire, let's do that. Got more boats coming there, more. What are they, cavalry coming from down there? Okay. Um, bouncy ice, bouncy fire. Let's go with that. you're making it through, which is a bit concerning. I thought we can cut them off here. Can he reach the water? No. Get him. Get him. There we go. Tiles. What does this help? How does this help me? Oh, I thought I was going to be able to cut that off. Shame. Um, cannon tower, I suppose. Get the upgrade there. So we have boats going from two angles now. Um, that should help there. It's got all the money I've got now, so let's see what happens. What's happening? Oh, there's more down here as well. in. Now we're getting closer, which is concerning. Uh, but what can we do? Uh, upgrade the range of fire tower. Yes, please. Thank you. He's nearly reaching the water now, which is nice. Bridge. Sure. Um, fire tower there actually will reach a lot. Which could help. Maybe a cannon right there just to soften them up as they come through. Let's see how that goes. Cannons doing nothing, really. It's all about these fire towers, I think. Although this is a bit dicey. Don't want to go out like this. Uh, 
Get him, get him, get him. Dang, okay. Um, increased range, increased damage. Or critical hit damage by the fire. Um, yeah, that probably helps me more at this stage. Right, well, I can't afford this. 480 now. Oh, do they go up as you build more, maybe? Right, let's see what we can do here. Can I block anything off? Not really. Hang on. There we go. Our path is closed. How do I sell? Well, that's nice. Give me a bit of money back for the trouble there. I can focus on these open paths. I think I want you right there. Can't afford another one though. Oh, they're coming now. Um, soften those guys up, hopefully. A little bit scary. Glad you can reach them, that's good. Fire tower, chance to ignite the ground, yes please. Beautiful. So many a nice tower down there as well, but maybe next turn. Just trying to see what kind of damage that ground ignition thing does. It's not bad, it's just a little bit of damage over time. Which is handy. Don't like this though. These boats are smashing me. Can't really do much about it either because... Uh, they're a bit too close, maybe that. Uh, fire tower... Yeah, why not? Come on, get him, get him, get him. Oof, getting smashed. So I wonder if this is the kind of game where, you know, it's designed to be like, you know, you won't you won't live forever. You will eventually um, fail. It's just a matter of holding on for as long as you can, which seems to be the case. Be careful of airships. They ignore roads and move directly towards the car. Oh, where are they coming from? Airships. From where? Well, those are fast boats. I mean, nothing came through there at all. My ice tower took out that whole wave, which is nice. Okay. We survive. Now let's increase the arrow tower. Got a couple of those out. Gonna get a nice tower there. Arrow tower there. But all I can do. What are we up to? Day 14. So we've beaten our nine day record at least. I'm not considering this, uh, what these fire towers are doing. Probably need another one or two in here actually. There we go with these boats. Not too bad. Not too bad. These guys are getting a bit close again. The idea of the Toxifier. 
combined with the fire, that could be okay, but I don't think it'll matter because, yep, we're done. <laughs> All right, 300 trophies for surviving 14 days. Let's go see what that unlocks for us in the talent screen. A swordsman barracks. I guess that's like the archery range where you have little fighters actually come out and uh, fight with the enemies. Ally units attack and heal plus 20%. Interesting. Barracks alert range. So maybe that's like an automated version of the arrow tower. Houses produce 20% faster. Still not sure what that does. Fishing hut. Gold production buildings produce 20% faster. All these references to houses, but I don't think I've got any idea how to build a house. <laughs> Great lighthouse. Choose a blessing on day two. Summons thunder. Okay, maybe I want to go this way. Attack range plus 20%, yes. Thunder. Oh, I can't afford the blessing. I'll have to see that one next time, I think. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. So this has been Hex Guardian. Just thought I'd give this one a quick look. It's a demo that uh, I just found on Steam as part of the uh, Steam Endless Replayability uh, feature, which is basically just shining a spotlight on roguelikes and games like that, which are upcoming. And this one really caught my eye and seemed interesting. And it's actually quite fun to play. It's very satisfying. Obviously, there's some uh, progression involved as well here with this uh, talent tree. And uh, yeah, it's quite, it's quite good to play. So check this one out. I'll put a link in the description below. If you like this and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing. Helps me out a lot. Keeps you in the loop when new games and videos drop. So thank you again, and I will see you next time.